morning. Welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. It is about 5 a.m. I actually just got up. Today's a good day. These stinking drains right here, these guys are coming out today. I cannot wait. I've actually been up since about 3.30 because this drain on my left side is really, really tender and sore. I'm dreading getting the drains out, but I'm excited to get the drains out all at the same time. So of course you guys will get to hear how that goes today because my friend's husband, who's a nurse, is heading over sometimes, sometime later this morning to take these stinking drains out for me. I feel like I'm gonna feel more normal when these drains are out, which I'm certainly, certainly happy about. I did make a protein coffee this morning. I do have to watch my caffeine. So I'm doing two shots of espresso, my collagen, my fiber, and my protein shake. So I had that, watched a little bit of TV this morning, and now I'm going to make myself some breakfast. I'm hoping that I can take a nap a little bit later today. I have packages coming. We're gonna unbox packages together. It's gonna be a good day. So if you're excited, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I do a What I Eat in a Day every single Wednesday. I'll link everything I talked to you about today down below with nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized macros and calories, highly recommend, and one-on-one -on -one coaching, my Facebook group. All the good stuff is down in the description box. So let's go ahead and head on into the kitchen to make some breakfast. Since I've been home from surgery and recovering, I've been keeping my meals pretty simple. I want to share these with you though. Actually, one of my coaching clients told me about these. These are from the brand Alyssa's and these are the Healthy Oatmeal Bites. Now I've heard that you can buy these at Sprouts, Whole Foods. My area doesn't have them. So I actually went onto her website and placed an order. If you order, I think 40 or $45, you get free shipping. So that's what I did, and I've just been keeping the extras in my freezer. These are absolutely amazing. Really good ingredients, great macros. You actually get two of these oatmeal cookie bites for 90 calories. There's no added sugar. Whole grain fiber, these are amazing. So I'll link the Alyssa's website down below for you guys. And then I'm going to have three quarters of a cup, which is a little over a serving of my favorite cottage cheese, The Good Culture. And then I have about 50 to 55 grams of blueberries. I also found these plastic mason jar lids on Amazon. My metal ones were getting rusty, which is disgusting. So I bought these on Amazon. I'll link those for you guys too. But that's kind of been my go-to breakfast lately. I mentioned in my surgery vlog video, if you missed that, I'll link it down below, that I actually can't cook for two weeks, like on the stovetop. So my breakfasts have been really, really simple and don't require a lot of cooking. So let me put this together and I'll show you breakfast. So here is my breakfast. I actually used my Uba Home bowl. It has all the measurements on the inside of the bowl, so it's really easy to get a three quarters of a cup. And then I ended up doing 65 grams of blueberries. I kind of want a little extra blueberries today. And then two of those amazing Alyssa's cookies. I am obsessed with them. I eat them pretty much every single day, sometimes twice a day. So that is going to be breakfast. So I want to make a drink, something kind of fun and sweet, kind of like a mid-morning snack. And you guys know my love for Clean Simple Eats. I love everything Clean Simple Eats. In fact, we're probably gonna have Clean Simple Eats a second time today, but they just released their brand new CSE Pink Drink. This is a copycat version of the Starbucks Pink Drink, which is the quintessential summer drink from Starbucks. Clean Simple Eats version of the Pink drink is much healthier, way less calories, way less points. It's all natural, tangy version of the Starbucks pink drink. It has 100 milligrams of clean energy, which is a little bit over what's in a cup of coffee, about a cup and a half of coffee worth of clean energy. No added sugars, artificial sweeteners, or colors. The little box comes with 10 of the Clean Simple Eats pink drink sticks for about a dollar per drink. Even less if you use my link and discount code down below, which will save you 10% off. It's pretty simple to make the Clean, clean Simple Eats pink drink. You're going to use one of the strawberry watermelon energy stick packs. Mix that with 16 ounces of water, about a half a cup of chopped strawberries, half of a cup of canned light coconut milk. You could probably substitute the coconut milk in a box. It may not be as creamy as what you would get from Starbucks. So I do recommend the canned light coconut milk, about five ice cubes. You're going to mix all of that together and you end up with the amazing dupe of the Starbucks pink drink for again, way less calories and points. This ends up being less than a hundred 
calories. I'll go ahead and pop up here on the screen all of the information versus the Starbucks pink drink. You can't beat it. And this is something that you can make at home. It's much more affordable, way less points or calories, and equally as delicious. I also love that it comes in the little packs, so you can even take them with you on the go. You can drink it without all of the pink drink mix-ins as well. You can just mix the pack with water, and it actually tastes really good as well. You do get that kind of tangy strawberry vibe. Absolutely delicious. So like I mentioned, I will link Clean Simple Eats down below for you with a 10% discount. And I did make up a batch of ice cream for my Ninja Creamy last night. It is currently in the freezer using the Clean Simple Eats. So we'll talk about that a little bit more when we have dessert today. But this is super refreshing and the perfect little morning treat. So I just finished my pink drink about an hour ago and I'm going to have a quick morning snack. Like I said, all of these snacks and meals require no cooking and are simple, but also will help me get in my protein. So I'm having the natural peanut butter protein bar. This one has like little bits of chocolate in it. Super good. This is from Healthy Eating All the Time and Go. Really good macros, really, really good ingredients. It's 230 calories and has 15 grams of protein. It's so good, so filling, so satisfying, and this will definitely hold me over until lunch. I am really hoping that these drains are removed before lunch. I'm really hoping. They're on their way to do the drains. I'm so nervous. I have all my supplies, gauze, an alcohol pad to sanitize scissors, and tape. We do have to put a little piece of gauze over the hole for the drain, so. Fingers crossed that this goes smoothly. It doesn't hurt too bad. It's not too uncomfortable. I'm definitely, definitely nervous. Have a little anxiety over this. All right, drains are out. Hallelujah. Sorry if you can hear Troy vacuuming. He's cleaning up the house. The drains are out. Thank goodness my friend Victoria's husband is a nurse. He came to my house. He did an amazing job pulling the drains out. The worst part really was the stitches. They were super, super sore when he cut them, especially this side, which was the sore side. He did say that there was some funky knot that the doctor did, kind of like a noose type of a knot. So there may still be a little stitch inside, so hopefully it comes out on its own. He didn't seem to think that it was going to cause any issues or anything like that, but I didn't even feel the drains come out. He pulled them out, didn't even know. It was amazing. I feel so much better. I do have some gauze with some tape over the drain holes for the next few days because they will leak a little bit. They're still tender and sore, but oh my goodness, I feel so much better. I can't shower for 48 hours, so I'm gonna have to wait a couple days to shower, but it just is a relief to have them out. I feel, like I said, a little bit more back to normal. Hi. Let's talk about flying post-op after you've had plastic surgery. So being that I'm from upstate New York, my flight time was drastically different than that of Jen's. I had between flights and layovers about a 14 hour window that from when I left the recovery house until I was at my doorstep. It was the longest 14 hours of my life. I was very smart about booking first class, so that's a pro tip. Book first class, spend the money on yourself, you're totally worth it. The seats themselves on first class are so much more plush and comfortable, not to mention the seat is wider, and the stewardesses will do pretty much anything you ask of them. My stewardesses made all the difference in the world. They continued to make sure I had lots of hydration. They brought me extra snacks. They actually even helped me out of my seat and made sure I was not only first on the plane, but the first off the plane. So I didn't have to worry about any trouble like that. Another pro tip, you know the little um, neck pillows that you see people traveling with? Thankfully, I had a neck pillow. Didn't realize going into this that I was gonna have a BBL. Thankfully for the neck pillow, I was able to use that as my makeshift BBL pillow for the entire ride home. Now, where that pillow came in the most handy was in the wheelchair. Um, I did request special service and the airport met me at the baggage claim where I checked my luggage. And I took that BBL pillow, I'm sorry, the neck pillow, flipped it around backwards and made it into like a BBL pillow. Um, I'm thankful for that. The wheelchair was the least comfortable thing. 
and I had to sit in that wheelchair because I could not stand for an extended period of time for like two and a half hours before my first flight and then up to three hours at my layover. So thankfully I had that, that neck pillow made a huge difference. So pro tip, make sure you have your neck pillow, use it for your seat cushion. Also book yourself first class. Hey, let's talk about my post-op appointment that was seven days post-op for my 360 tummy tuck and my BBL fat transfer. I did not get to see Dr. Suarez as he was on vacation. I got to see the lovely Dr. Daniela, who was so much fun and awesome. I definitely had a good time with her and the assistant. Um, I could not wait to get to my appointment and have them take off the paper tape. I was eager to see the unveiling of my new tummy. So I did have a few spots that were pulling when the tape was on, but nothing looked red or inflamed. Everything was the perfect color. Of course, there was a little swelling, which was to be expected. So they took the paper tape and cut it in about five different places strategically around my stomach and back. So that way they could pull little bits in not one great big strip. So both ladies went at it. No, I mean, they were not shy. They started pulling tape and pulling tape. And before I knew it, I had broken out into a sweat. And I said, wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. And I started to cry. The tape apparently um, had, my skin had welted under all the tape. And as they pulled it, it was like they were pulling the skin itself off. I started sobbing. The skin underneath the tape had welted up and was red and inflamed and it was I gotta be honest it was awful um luckily they had clearly done this before they're professionals and took a spray bottle of antiseptic and they would pull the tape a little and spray 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 the tape and saturate the tape and then pull a little more and spray it it did eventually come off and I got to see my prize uh, I got myself calmed down and like I said I came home with my drains I was sad about that. However, knowing that I had 14 plus hours of travel time, I was also okay with the fact that my drains came home with me. So the visit itself was great. They were very happy with how everything looked. My incisions looked amazing. They did recommend that I, when I got home to take a thin white t-shirt that had no all cotton, that had no seams and wear underneath my faja, which is exactly what I have done and it made a world of difference. All of the redness quickly went away, and then I also try and give myself um, two or three times, 15 minutes or so throughout the day to take the faja off and just let my skin breathe to make sure that all that redness had gone away, and it definitely made a big difference. I got home from Tijuana, Mexico, from my 360 tummy tuck and my BBL fat transfer four days ago. One thing that I totally could not live without is the power lift recliner. It's not so much that I need it to get out of the chair. Luckily, I have a wonderful boyfriend who helps me up every time I need it. It is the sleeping situation. I, with the BBL pillow, tuck that pillow in the chair put myself up, put a pillow under my knees, prop myself back, use my travel pillow around my neck, and that is how I've been sleeping every night. Now, granted, once I get to sleep, I'm getting a full six, eight, 10 hours of sleep, out like a log, sleep wonderful. But honestly, get yourself a power lift chair. Even if you rent one, we actually found a brand new one on Craigslist. The woman had broke her back, needed it for six short weeks for recovery, and we paid $60 for it. It's in mint condition and it is worth a million dollars because it's the only way I can sleep. I tried to sleep in bed, 50 pillows, prop it up, switch it around. No, it, I was there two hours the first night and gave up. I sit in the power lift chair and pff, two minutes I'm sound asleep. So buy yourself a power lift chair.
So here's my lunch. This is my chili I made in my meal prep. It's absolutely delicious, highly recommend. So I have one serving of the chili and I have four saltine crackers that I just crumbled up on top. I have a couple coaching calls this afternoon. So I'm gonna stick with this for lunch and we'll just have a little bit bigger snack. And then I have a new favorite ice cream to share with you for dessert tonight as well. So like I said, I got a lot of packages while I was in Mexico and I haven't been up for unboxing a whole lot of them. And one of the packages that came was my FabFitFun for summer. And this is something I subscribe to, I pay for it out of my own pocket. I'm an annual subscriber, which means I actually get to curate my entire box. I can do add-ons. So this is actually the summer box. I'm really excited about this. I did some really, really fun add-ons. So here is a little sneak peek. I know you guys like to see what's in my box. So let's go through what I added on first. So the first thing are these towels. These are actually gym towels. Now, you know, I live in Arizona, it gets hot and it's like 90 degrees at 5 a.m. when we're working out. And I don't have a towel that I can leave in my car and take with me to boot camp. We actually work out outside. So I know I'm going to be super sweaty. So I saw that they had these really pretty gym towels. This one is kind of a mint green ornate pattern design and then i picked up a pink one as well this one has more like flowers on it they are kind of a microfiber material they were really really affordable i want to say less than ten dollars so i'll throw those in the wash and i'll have those ready to go especially as the weather is getting warmer i also got another pack of the invisibobble i really like these i wear these in my hair a lot when i work out they're kind of like those telephone cord hair ties these actually work really well in my hair and they don't pull my hair out when I remove them. And I think that's all I added on. I could be wrong. We may come across some other things in here as we dig through, but let me show you the rest of what's in my box. So first up are these makeup remover cloths. Actually, you know what? I think I added these on as well. I use these every single day to wash my face. I actually double cleanse. I use a, ooh, these are soft. I use a makeup removing balm and then I use just kind of a makeup cloth to get all of the extra makeup off so this i'm pretty sure i did add this on it's a two pack a pink and a blue and then i saw this hat this was definitely a choice item and i have a few pools in my community about six of them and then i'm going to hawaii this year as well and i'm going to texas so i'll be spending quite a bit of time at the pool and i saw this hat and i thought that this was so fun so it's kind of a visor vibe can't lift my arms over my head or i would show you how to put it on but basically it goes on the front of your head like a visor and then it has the tie around the back and i thought that this was really cute i have a full sun hat and then i thought that this one would be great for travel just a little bit easier to travel with and perfect for summer speaking of summer i did get the vacation brand classic sunscreen so this is spf 30 from the vacation brand i know that this is sold at like ulta and sephora oh it smells good i can smell like a tropical through the safety seal and we use sunscreen every day i actually put sunscreen on my face every day we put sunscreen on our bodies all the time living in arizona so i saw this and thought that makes perfect sense as a choice item and then how fun is this this is an underwater camera again i'm going to hawaii and last time we actually had to buy this pouch to put rachel's phone in to take pictures and i thought let's just have an underwater camera especially because we do want to make annual trips to hawaii for girls trips this was a great great choice item and it was one of the really limited edition ones so i immediately as soon as choice was available grabbed that and then from volition i got the strawberry c brightening serum my skin just loves a vitamin c serum and i've never tried anything from this brand although i've heard of this brand before oh this is pretty it's like a milky pink and like i said my skin loves vitamin c serum i use vit i use serum on my skin two or three times a day, so I picked that. And also, they had Olaplex. That was really, really exciting. You guys know I love Olaplex. This is all I use on my hair. And I got the Bond Intense Moisture Mask, and I actually just ran out of this last month. It was in my empties that I do on my beauty channel, so of course I'm gonna choose a $30 hair product. And then last but not least, I got these socks from the brand Tom's, you know, the really cute shoe brand. I don't have any no so sh show socks and i got all those really cute loafers from timu and you have to wear a no show sock with those loafers and this is a pack of three pairs we have a tie-dye pair a mint green pair and then kind of a floral pair and i thought 
perfect. I was gonna have to buy these anyways. These are a great name brand, so I picked those as well. So that's everything in my summer Fat Fit Fun box. I feel like I did really well just picking summer items, usable items, things that I will definitely get use out of and then added some really good add-ons as well. I'll link Fat Fit Fun down below for you. I think I can get a discount off their website. I don't know. I'll put all the information down below if you're interested, but I love it. It's one of my favorite subscription boxes. It comes four times a year. I really love it. I think it's a big bang for your buck. As promised, Palmer's Bark Box is here. He already saw it and is very excited. Are you excited? Okay, just one moment, please. <laughs> so we have the City Sniffers Guide to New York City. So there's gonna probably be, I'm guessing, all New York City things. Okay, this is really cute. Well, hang on, hang on. Look at just a minute. So this is Andy's Famous Dumplings. It's a Chinese to-go container. Hey. Oh, I know, I know. And then it looks like we have, oh, this is cool, a Statue of Liberty ball. And then, of course, typical couple bags of treats, Moo Moo Pies beef recipe. And then, Palmer is not patient, per usual. And then, Moo Moo Leeks beef recipe. And then, of course, the stick. We have a beef stick, so I'll give that to the dogs. And then, oh, Troy says already the Statue of Liberty ball. This is really cute, does it squeak? Oh, I don't know. This one's really cute, too. Okay. Will you pull the tag off? And Oh, yeah, it does. Will you pull the tag off and we'll give it to Palmer? Oh, Palmer, Daddy has your babies. Oh, get it. Yeah, good job. You go get the zoomies. Okay, bye-bye. All right, let's open this up for Lola. You get the whole one today, honey. Oh, yeah, good girl, Lola. So I will link the Bark Box down below. I think my link gives you a free month, but yeah, we love this. You guys get so excited because Palmer gets so excited. So I ended up not having an afternoon snack. I had some coaching calls and worked on my meal plan and just didn't really feel like it. I am getting really hungry though. It's about a little after four o'clock. So I'm going to make a little pizza. It sounds really good. I have the calories and everything for it. So I'm going to use one of the Mission Carb Balance Original Pitas. I love these. These make the perfect pizza crust. And then I'm going to use the Sonoma Gourmet Pizza Sauce. Regular plain old pepperoni. And then I have the Trader Joe's Light Mozzarella Cheese. Pile it, pile it all on top of the pita. I'll show you guys before it goes into the oven. And I'm telling you, it makes the perfect pita. And then we're having ice cream for dessert. So here is my pizza. So I did the pita, pepperoni, sauce, and cheese. Someone else thinks he's having pizza. Yeah, very interested in the pepperoni. So I'm gonna put this in an oven at 350 degrees just until the cheese is melted and it's warmed through. Alrighty, sorry, Troy's vacuuming. So here is dinner. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. I'm telling you, those pitas make the best little shells for pizza. So this is my dinner and I'll be back when we have some dessert. So for dessert, I'm having ice cream in my Ninja. So this was, what this is one of my favorite ways to make ice cream in the Ninja. So it is one cup of chocolate Fairlife. You can use regular Fairlife too. And then Clean Simple Eats Protein of your choice. This combo, chocolate Fairlife, German chocolate cake, Clean Simple Eats, million out of 10. I'm going to spin this on light ice cream. And then for all the German chocolate cake vibes, I'm going to add in a couple tablespoons of pecans and then mix it in so it's got that little bit of a crunch factor. We'll top it with some whipped cream and I'm going to have this entire pint for dessert. Perfect consistency. Put in my pecans and then I put it back on my Ninja as a mix-in. All right, and here it is. I added some of the birthday cake whipped cream to the top. It's literally, you guys, the perfect ice cream consistency. Look at that. We've got the pecans for some crunch. I'm eating the whole pint, so I'm gonna go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. So that's a wrap 
on today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. I know it wasn't the most exciting What I Eat in a Day because I can't go anywhere, I can't drive, and I really need to focus on recovery, especially since these drains are out. I can actually focus on resting and recovering, but I hope you enjoyed seeing all the food that we had today. I'm telling you, Clean Simple Eats makes amazing ice cream and the pink drink. 10 out of 10. I'll link everything down below for you along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.